the whole month CPR this is going to be exactly here according to this analysis this is now a mark of faith this here closing above the moving averages in a bigger frame is a bullish scenario guys hey everyone thank you so much for joining in so guys looking at this Korean Bitcoin price action you can see we have this massive price correction the price actually dropped almost 13 percent in a single hour and if you're new to crypto guys welcome because this is what you are going to see time and again and now if you look at this price structure guys was this something new to us? No, because we were actually expecting the price to come across this monthly CPI level. Because if you look at the price structure here, it was clearly heading to the upside without any touches around the monthly CPI level. And we knew that price, if it's going to head to the upside without touching the monthly CPI level, there is a high possibility that the price could get gravitated towards the monthly CPI level. And in this case, you can see here, I actually showed you on my yesterday's tweet that price has a possibility of two scenarios one it will go to the air one area and then come back to the monthly cpi area second scenario price will go first to the monthly cpi area and then get bounced but there was no phase c area where price would go straight to the upside that's the reason why i actually didn't mention the phase c because i knew there was a high possibility for price to retest the monthly cpi level because this is not the first time that we are witnessing this kind of move because if you go back here guys you will also notice that it went straight to the upside without touching the monthly cpi after reaching this particular level we had this massive price correction which led us exactly at the monthly CPI level. And if you go back here again from another month, you can also see price actually closed between the air one and the monthly CPI level. We didn't touch the monthly CPI level here. You can see very, very clearly it headed all the time in the side duration. It went for the air one area and after reaching the air one area, we had this boom price correction price came exactly at the monthly cpi level so is this the first time now no because we have seen this similar scenario unfolding time and again also at this simple example you can see price opened between this line the air one and the monthly cpi line it didn't have this opportunity to retest this monthly cpi level it went up it tested here perfectly the air one area and after reaching the air one area we came back towards the monthly cpi level at the end of the month so what i'm actually trying to show you here or trying to share with you guys is that this monthly cpi if you see this price movement without touching the monthly cpi there is a high high possibility for price to test this area or come across this level again because now you can see here what i'm actually expecting right now is the price to properly come around the monthly cpi level because then i'm also expecting a price move to the upside so you can take this cpr as a very very helpful indicator because this cpr has proven out to be one of the best indicator i've come across so far guys and also if you look at this cpr level the whole month cpr this is going to be exactly here the target above the resistance line are going to be exactly there for the whole month guys so this means this here is a wider cpi if you compare here with the previous month this was the narrow cpi right this was also a narrow cpi and if you go back here you can see this is also narrow cpi what does narrow cpi indicates volatility is going to be entering the market and look after we saw this narrow cpi we had this really nice pump to the upside right and you can see here this was not a narrow cpi anymore and what happened with the price action you can see we had this sideway movement this is the magic of monthly cpi we had this narrow cpi here but the price couldn't show that much because we already had this move here at the beginning of the month so after that we had this sideway market right and also here even though the monthly cpi was a narrow cpi the price hit it in a sideway duration unless we actually reached the end of the month area and then we had this massive move to the upside and now if you look at our case guys in our case this is a wider cpi so this wider cpi usually indicates the price might be moving in a sideways duration and also guys if you look this scenario in a whole we know exactly that this monthly cpi here is going to act as a very very strong support and we know that right because this is also an ascending cpi you can see this is a ascending cpi and this new monthly cpi also indicated hey we are still heading in an upward direction because in an ascending cpi you will notice that the price always finds support at the monthly cpi level so i'm also expecting price 
in our case to find support around the monthly CPI and then head to the upside. Am I worrying that we are seeing this kind of massive price correction at the moment? No guys, because as I said to you, this is nothing new to us because we knew exactly that the price had a very, very high probability to come across this monthly CPI level. And that's why let's also look into another example. So guys, this here is Bitcoin in a daily time frame, and I've used this log scale. And if you notice this price structure here, this is actually showing me right now where we are. This is a very, very bullish area because if you notice this price structure here from 2011, when the price had this markdown phase, recovery phase, consolidation, before we had this massive price move to the upside. If you notice this price structure, this here at the markdown phase, this was the lowest point before price actually had this recovery phase, consolidation, gathering energy before we started taking off. And also, if you look at this here, similar move. After we reached to the peak of the mountain, we had this markdown phase. And after reaching the lowest point, we also had this recovery phase, just like here from 2011. And then a consolidation phase before we had this massive move to the upside here from 2017. And you can see here, after reaching the peak of the mountain, we also had this similar case here. We came to the peak of the mountain, we had this markdown phase, and this here is the new low. This was the previous low. And this here from 2011 was the another lowest point. Now you can see after making this lowest point or reaching the lowest point area here, we had this recovery phase, just like here from the past Bitcoin price action scenario. And also guys, this here was a consolidation phase. You can see here, price actually went way below this consolidation phase area because we know that was a black swan event which we saw recently in March. And now, if you could exclude this black swan event, the price was actually heading in a sideway direction. So now, according to this analysis, this is now a mark up phase, just like here, because now this was a consolidation phase and now we are also slowly heading to the upside. And also, if you look at this price action here, I also want to include in this chart to show you that this mark of fears here from 2013 January and also this mark of fears here from 2016 June and now this mark of phase what we are going to see here from August and September let me show you this interesting chart so guys now if you look at this interesting chart here in a monthly time frame you are noticing that I've used three different moving averages 26 whole moving average 9 simple moving average and 21 exponential moving average and every time when our price was above this moving averages that was an indication of a bull run because here where in my previous example, I showed you this was a Markov phase, right? This is the exact area where the price also started closing above the moving averages. And when the price is above this moving averages, it has most probably led us to a really, really nice to the upside. You can see very clearly, right? We had this really, really nice move to the upside. And also if you go backwards here, when we had this Markov phase from 2013, guys, around this area, if we could have seen this line coming below here. You could have noticed that in another example, I saw this, that the whole moving average is also below this area. So this was area where the price actually started heading to the upside and we had this really nice bull run, right? And now if you look at this scenario in our case right now, we can also see when the price actually closed above this moving averages, we also had this very, very nice move to the upside where we actually went from 5,000 to almost 14,000 level. And now you can also notice that the price has clearly closed above the moving averages. So this here closing above the moving averages in a bigger frame is a bullish scenario, guys. And that's what I'm actually trying to show you here with this mark of face, because in my previous example, this area is now a mark of face in a bigger frame. And now you can see why I'm actually calling it a mark of face, because now this price of this candle has already opened above the moving averages, which is giving us a sign of, hey, this is a very, very bullish sign. So guys, now let's see if you are still worried about the current Bitcoin price drop, because if you look this in a bigger frame, this is a very, very bullish scenario and Bitcoin still has plenty of room to grow to the upside. So guys, this is what I actually wanted to share with you in today's short video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If so, I would really appreciate it if you could smash the like button and also hit the subscribe button if you're watching this for the first time. So by saying this, I'm signing off. Happy hunting, guys.